Well, hello everyone. This is HunterTube back again, and we are here with another review, and it is on another one of my birthday presents, and it is the Monkey Palace set. So yeah, I uh, wanted this thing since December. Yeah, so, and of course you already know about the mix-up with the uh, Christmas presents, and now Target messed up on their website and changed the picture and the description of the demolition at the dock set and made it say monkey power set, which was a disaster. And then people actually bought it thinking it was the monkey power set. And then they fell for it, basically. So either way, it... Here's the box and says you can help Thomas deliver the monkeys. And it includes two monkeys. But if you look all over the box, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six monkeys. There's six monkeys everywhere and it only comes with two. Why not add more monkeys? That's my idea. Maybe they would want you to buy the Monkey Mania Thomas to make the set better. Sadly, I didn't get him. So, yeah. And... So, here's the contents. And then... It's a scene on the show. And there's Thomas and the Monkey Palace. Promo picture. And yeah, here's the back of the box, and it says Monkey Power Set. Thomas is visiting the Monkey Palace in India, where a few monkeys get separated from their family. As Thomas passes below the tree limb with the monkey in his cargo car, the Chippo Chimp grabs onto the limb and swings back toward his friends. So yeah, that's how it works. And the monkey swings on the platform and you can place them all over the set. And then of course there's the thing about the push along engines and the other engines that are available. And also the water tower set. Sadly, I didn't get that either. And also look closely here. At the top of the palace there are there is a peg on each side of it. So you can, like, place monkeys there. But let's look at the palace once we get to the set. But either way, let's get Thomas back out of his box again. So, yeah, I already opened this thing up, so let's get Thomas back out of his box and the monkeys. So, yeah, there. Okay, so before we look at uh, the characters and the uh, other things... Let's look at the instructions. So yeah, here are the instructions. And they're talk and they s replace the C S with uh, just a C, which is which I just noticed. And yeah, it goes about the stickers and how to assemble the pieces and the, all that and the how to play. And yeah. That's the instructions. Now let's get to looking at the characters. And let's start off by looking at Thomas. So yeah, here's Thomas, here's his face. And on the side he has like jungle decals and he has monkeys and a bird and a lizard and vines and everything. Oh, and a frog as well. And whatever that is. Is that a duck? I think that's a duck. And then the other side, there's a bird and something and a snake and more monkeys and another bird. And then on the top, he has like little vines everywhere. Where was the part in the episode where Thomas gets covered in vines and things? That never happened in the episode. And then the back is just completely normal. 
and then the roof there. Also, Thomas seems to be looking over there at something. And yeah, that's Thomas. Now, let's look at the cargo car. So, yeah, it's basically a green cargo car. If I were to make it more like the episode, I'd make it brown like it was in the episode. And they actually added the bit where the coconuts fell out. Because, like, the... They actually added it where the back door was open. There's no back door, but they did it so the monkey could slide off the cargo car. And it also helps for, like, if you're ever going to do a remake of the episode, your coconuts can fall out of the uh, cargo car. So, yeah, and then it has that coupling and that coupling. But yeah, that was the cargo car. Now let's look at the monkeys. So yeah, this monkey here is holding a banana on this side. And they both have base plates. And they have pegs underneath. And he has a little tail. And yeah. That's one monkey, and then here's the other monkey. Only difference is with these monkeys is that this one has, like, his hand out there, and then this one's hand is, like, backwards, and then the bananas have swapped hands and everything. But everything else is exactly the same. Yeah. And then, can the monkeys fit in the cargo cars, even though they have base plates? Yes, they can. And they actually fit in very tight. Wow. That's like a tight fit. Yeah, it's like a very tight fit. So yeah, that was the monkeys. Now, let's look at the set. So, here is the set, and first off, yes, it's your basic oval track, but it has a few things with it. It has, like, this gantry thing, this, uh, whatever it is, gantry thing, and then we have the monkey palace with a Rajiv sticker on it. Yeah, and then you have this crane here. And yeah, it's for when the monkeys come in and swing onto the tree limb. And remember what I said earlier? Look at this. There are no pegs on top of the monkey palace. So the picture of it on the box is the prototype. And then this is the final thing. And yes, you can hang monkeys here. But the only problem is, is that when your train, or whoever your character is, comes along, this is what happens. The monkey falls off. So yeah, what was the point of adding these hooks? Even, ba even if the monkeys are backwards, they'll still fall right off. Oh, unless you put both of them on, then they won't fall off. But if he comes around again, yeah, there goes your monkeys. And then Thomas will end up running them over. Like that. And then you can even put your monkeys up here as well. Or you can take them off here and then hang one down here. But the only problem is sometimes they fall off and... This is what happens. Your monkey falls and Thomas runs it over again. So how the tree limb works is you put it out and then you take Thomas here and then you put your monkey in your cargo car 
have to do it backwards because he doesn't work forwards on carpet. And then he'll do a loop around the track. And then when he comes back, he'll grab the monkey and put it in there. And yeah, that's how the tree limb works. And then you can stop Thomas there. The only thing the tree limb can't do is try to grab two monkeys at a time. Because if it does try to do it, this is what happens. They just fall down. And then Thomas comes back around and runs them over. Like that. And so there was your review of the Monkey Palace set. It's actually a really good set. And I give it a 9.5 out of 10. Because there are a few problems with it. One, you can't grab two monkeys at once. It would have been cool if you could have. Two, the monkeys ha don't have very many places to be put. And three, the monkeys fall off the palace when Thomas goes by it. And yeah, those are like the only problems with it. And maybe you could have added some like coconut trees. Or even coconuts. I mean, yeah, it would have been easy to add coconuts, but I can see why they didn't because uh one, they're probably too small for children, and yeah. So yeah, now we're gonna give Thomas and my maybe my custom Rajiv around a run around this track. And if I had Monkey Mania Thomas, I would have gave him a run around here as well. So yeah, we're gonna run them in three, two, one, go. They tried to steal my crown, Thomas! My crown! <gasps> And there was your run, folks. I hope you liked the little Rajiv bit at the end. Because that was probably... That is probably going to be the best part of the making of this video. It's probably going to end up being hilarious. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't. And... As I'm just saying, thanks for watching. Bye for now. And the next review will be on the Dragon Escape Set.